What does the Bible teach about business? That's what we'll uncover together on the Business in His Image podcast. This show explores strategies from the Bible that will help you grow your business, strengthen your walk with Jesus, and help you reach your God-given potential as an entrepreneur. The Bible is filled with practical wisdom to help you live for God while using your gifts. Let's unpack what that means for you and how you can use biblical truths to build a thriving business that honors Christ. Now it's time to dive in. Do you struggle with imposter syndrome? You're not alone. That's why on today's episode, I'm going to share my personal testimony of struggling with imposter syndrome, what the Bible says about it, and give you some encouragement as well to continue pursuing God's calling for your life. Recently, God brought me to Deuteronomy 34, and it is such a powerful scripture that I believe I've read before, but never in this way. So to give you a little bit of context, what happened here is that Moses had just died and Joshua, his successor, was going to take over and help lead the Israelites into the promised land. It says here, starting in verse 9, Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. So the Israelites listened to him and did what the Lord had commanded Moses. Since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, who did all those signs and wonders the Lord sent him to do in Egypt to Pharaoh, and to all his officials, and to his whole land. For no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. If you have ever struggled with comparison or feeling like you are not able to do what God has called you to do, I know that this passage is really going to relate to you and bless you. Now, when I first read this, It really struck a chord with me because this is something that I struggled with personally. God has been speaking to me about what he wants me to do in ministry. And at times I can give myself all the excuses in the world as to why I'm not equipped, why I'm not ready, why it's not a good time, why I need more time to get myself together. But that's not what God had to say. And at times we do that. At times God is showing us the open door. He's showing us that it's time to step out in faith, but we make all these excuses as to why we're not qualified. And the funny thing about this is that Moses went through the same thing. When God called Moses, he also tried to make excuses as to why he couldn't go and speak to Pharaoh and deliver Israel from Egypt. He made all these excuses. He wanted someone else to speak for him. And that's why God appointed his brother Aaron to help him. But it actually wasn't meant for it to be that way. God called Moses and God equipped Moses to do it. And so we see Moses went from not wanting to speak in front of Pharaoh, making all these excuses as to why he's not able to. And then this record that is spoken about him, that there was no prophet like him, that no one did the kind of miracles that he would do. But here is what God really pointed out to me is that God called Joshua to lead Israel after Moses had died. But Joshua, he didn't seem to have the same level of anointing, the same. He didn't perform those kind of miracles, but God was with him and that's what mattered. So what God showed me is that he will equip people differently with various gifts according to the purpose that he has for them, but it doesn't make someone better or less because they have or they don't have an ability. So maybe perhaps Joshua wasn't on the same level as Moses. But he was still called and he was every bit equipped because the Lord told him to take courage, to take heart, because he was going to be with him. He had the wisdom that he needed to perform his calling. Maybe Joshua didn't need to perform those miracles. I really believe that Moses needed that level of power to be able to withstand the kind of challenges, the unique challenges that they faced in the wilderness for those 40 years. He needed (laughs) to be really close to God and he needed to hear from God very clearly and be able to perform those miracles so that they could survive. So God had a reason and a purpose for why Moses did the miracles he did. Just because Joshua didn't perform those miracles didn't make him lesser of a leader. It just wasn't his calling. It wasn't his purpose. And I believe that God wants us to take hold of that same truth, that if he has called us to something, that means that he has equipped us. He does not want us to compare ourselves to anyone else. And he doesn't want us to struggle with this thing called imposter syndrome 
or allow that to hinder us from obeying him. We have to look to Christ. Now, as we close here, I want to leave you with a verse from Romans 12, verse 6, and I'm reading from the NLT version. It says, in his grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. I love the part of this verse where it says that he has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So God may not equip us to do everything well, but he will equip us to do the specific things that he has called us to do. So you don't need to feel like an imposter. Just because God has called you to do something new doesn't mean you're not equipped for it. It's just a new experience. But you can benefit from imposter syndrome, in a sense, by allowing it to push you to rely on God even more. Let this message today sink into your heart, friend. Remember, whatever God has called you to, he will equip you. God is with you. He will not forsake you. You can do this. Hey, friend, if today's episode helped you in any way, please help us reach more people by rating and leaving a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. For the entire month of August, each person who leaves a review will be entered to win a free 30-minute coaching session with me to help them grow their business. Just rate and review and leave your Instagram handle as well so I can contact you if you win. Thank you so much, friend. Have a blessed day. Thank you for listening to the Business in His Image podcast with me, your host, Joe Harris. If this show has blessed you, please share it with a friend and subscribe so that you can be notified when we release new episodes. My prayer is that God will help you soak up every bit of what you've heard today and help you apply it to your business so that you can see results. I'll see you next time and may God bless you.